the heat wave definitely subsided. It feels like a normal day, I guess you could say. Sunny, although it's a little hazy in the sky and stuff still. And what was going on today? Well, apparently Parrot announced their new drone. So what would this one be all about? Would it be a more slim micro one, for example? A more professional one? I guess by the looks of it, they announced here the Anafi AI, the 4G robotic UAV. Kind of an interesting marketing material. They say this one's inspired by nature, I guess, for the drone design and the way it functions. And most of the examples they use, it seems like it is for things like survey and mapping. So again, it's meant more for work purposes. Although it does seem to have some pretty hefty specs. For example, a 48 megapixel camera and it has six times zoom. Although it is digital from what I gather, but they demonstrated it a bit saying how you can get really sharp images even from a distance. For some of the video capabilities, apparently it uses HDR10, so it should be 10-bit, which is over 1 billion colors, so it's no joke in that sense. So diving right into the specs, what makes this, I guess, drone special? It says here for the camera, it's 48 MP sensor, HDR10, HDR8, 14 EV dynamic range, and 6x zoom. For the zoom functionality, it says it has 6x zoom and it says the zoom is available in all photo and video modes. Combined with the 48 megapixel sensor, precise sharpening algorithms enable high definition still images, even when using the 6x digital zoom. And Nafi AI users are now able to see 1 centimeter details at 75 meters. So it is digital zoom, but from what they're saying here, the quality should be really good. Especially if you're doing things, again, for like work purposes. And they make it clear again in their marketing materials, designed for inspection and mapping. So not necessarily to film things like cinematic video and all that, although I guess you theoretically could. But what was really fascinating about their marketing materials too is, it seems like in terms of drone comparisons, they're specifically going against things like the Phantom 4 Pro. That's what they, I guess, envision. Because you can see like in the examples here, I guess with zoomed in pictures, they show you here the Phantom 4 Pro versus the Anafi AI. And it says, ideal for inspection, the Anafi AI gimbal embeds a six-axis hybrid stabilization system, which compensates the flight vibrations and guarantees sharp images. So if you were waiting for a bigger drone, so to speak, since DJI, for whatever reason, aren't releasing bigger ones, this one here, I guess, is another choice now for professionals. And in terms of things like flight distance and all that, apparently they're saying this one has 4G connectivity, which means you should theoretically go pretty far, I guess, if you need to for like work purposes and all that. It says Anafi AI is the first commercial micro drone equipped with a 4G module. It covers more than 98% of the frequencies used worldwide. Of course, that comes down to things like regulations and all, which I would assume is the biggest hurdle for people to fly beyond visual line of sight. And when they say micro drones, I keep thinking things like under 250 grams, for example. That's not the case here. This thing weighs about 900 grams, just from what I read. And in terms of comparisons, again, they compare themselves to like things like the Phantom 4 Pro and as well the Autel Evil 2. Like it says here, achieve significant time efficiency thanks to Anafi's AI imaging specifications. And they say here, photo captured at 1 FPS, Anafi AI shoots twice faster than Autel Evil 2 and DJI Phantom 4 Pro V2. And overall, they say this thing can fly for about 32 minutes. And what was actually really fascinating was how when watching their presentation and all that, they're saying this thing can withstand rain. I'm like, what? Is it waterproof? Well, reading more details, it says it's IPX3. So I don't know if IPX3 would technically be able to handle, let's just say, a huge rainstorm or something like that, or the harsh rain that we often get here, because that's more like a sprinkle or something like that, right? But to me, that's still a big standout feature, especially if they're advertising themselves as, I guess, the alternative to things like the Phantom 4 Pro and stuff like that. If it could survive in the rain and all that, it gives you more options, especially, again, if you're using it for professional work purposes and all that. As well, they talked a lot about being an open platform. And what that meant from what I gather was a lot of their software is basically open source, so to speak. So you can actually modify it. For example, they say, they make you the software for things like the app to control the drone and all that. It has like the menu system, whereas you, as like say the developer, you can actually program your own code and implement that instead. So it's basically customizable. So that's kind of interesting in that sense. This is one of the companies that got that military contract too. So they do emphasize a lot about security as well with their drone. Overall, to me, it sounds like a legitimate competitor just based on everything I had heard so far. If you're actually in the market for a drone like this, it makes me wonder, will this actually 
eat up, I guess, potential sales for any DJI drones and all that. Are they losing their market share? If you were someone that was looking for an enterprise type of drone, would you actually consider this? Especially for things like mapping and inspections, which is what they're obviously targeting with this. But ultimately, how much does this thing cost? And that was one of the interesting thing. It wasn't listed in terms of the price. You can only imagine this is an enterprise type of drone by the sounds of it, so it's going to be expensive, just like all the other types of enterprise drones where they don't actually list a price. So I expect this thing to be like, what, $5,000 or $7,000 or something like that? So definitely not meant for the average, I guess, hobbyist. Hey, see you guys later.